The gentlewoman from North Carolina, Ms. Adams, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, um, Secretary Mnuchin, for uh, returning. You know, you said you're patient. I'm patient, too. But I've got to tell you, I'm losing patience with, uh, with the President. Um, do you know how many times uh, President uh, Trump has publicly offered to release his tax returns? I do not. Um, well, we should have something on the screen. He's personally offered uh, to give us a glimpse of his tax returns at least 24 times. It was scrolling on the screen, and it'll probably be back up. Uh, it was April uh, 19th, uh, 2011, uh, in an interview when he first said that. And he said it, that if President Obama would release his birth certificate, then he'd release his tax reforms. But, of course, the, President Obama did do what he said he'd do, and the President did not do uh, what he said he'd do. So do you think the American people have a right to, to know what's in those tax reform, tax forms? No, 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 I don't. Presidents are not required to, and the uh, American public knew that he didn't release them before they voted for him. So that's... All right, I'm reclaiming my time now. Do you know what the president's hiding? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Do you know what he's hiding? I mean, he doesn't uh, want anybody to see him, certainly not, not the Congress. I don't think he's hiding anything, but Okay, no. so you don't know. Is that what I don't saying? know anything about his tax return. All right, so we, we've heard a lot of excuses over the years about why he could not release them. He said, well, it was under audit, and then, but once they finished that, he would release them. Uh, but an IRS commissioner confirmed that an audit is not necessary uh, for uh, you to release your, your tax returns. Are you aware of that? I am, but that's the president's decision, and I'm not involved in the president's decision. All right, let me reclaim my time. I want to get through my questions. So are you familiar with Congress's oversight authority? Yes, I am. Okay. So it, it, it's found in the Constitution and public laws uh, and the House and Senate rules, and it does say uh, that uh, when the request is made uh, by the appropriate uh, offices that, that he should release them. Are you aware of that? I've, I've read the law. I've also been advised of the interpretation of the law, and I understand the constitutional issues. All right. So why haven't you complied with, uh, with Chairman Neal's request? Because I think that would be unlawful, as advised by the Department of Justice, and that's why there's a third branch of government that most All likely right. we, We're aware it. of that. Let me reclaim my time, sir. So are, are you aware, then, that by denying this, that, that, that you are in direct violation of the law? No, absolutely not. I have been advised I am not violating the law. I never would have done anything that violated the law. And quite the contrary, I've been advised that had I turned them over, I would be violating the law. All right, law, let me, let me move do. on, sir. So are, are you alleging uh, that Chairman Neal lacks a legislative purpose and that is the basis for your refusing his request? Well, given that this is now most likely going to litigation, I think my letters have been quite clear in why we have denied the request, and that's All right, based okay, on the sir, let me, let me move Justice. on. Thank you very much. So are you intending to comply with the request at all? No, yes I've made no? clear. Yeah, We've okay. sent him a letter that, that uh, it would be unlawful for All us. All right. To okay, sir. With. I'm reclaiming my time. Now, have you told the IRS not to respond to Chairman Neal's request? The IRS uh, independently, uh, the chairman independently wrote a letter concurring with so, my position. Yeah, can you give me a yes or no? Have you? Do you repeat the question? Have you or told the IRS not to respond to the request? Uh, again, I just said the IRS independently wrote a letter I, concurring. Sir, with my, okay, let me reclaim my time. Can you give me a yes or no? I don't. Understand All right, okay, the you question. will not. You you won't give me a yes or no. All right, so let me ask you. Um, uh, first of all, I did uh, I, I did a little research myself, and I know that you've done some work with Goldman Sachs and uh, in, in the investment banking sector. Have you ever lost a billion dollars? Uh, I have never lost a billion dollars. Uh, would you enter into a business relationship with someone who had a track record of losing a billion dollars? It depends. If they made ten billion and lost a billion, uh, all right, okay. Let deal. me move on. Would you invest in a business venture that has lost a billion dollars? Again, if it made ten billion and all lost right, a billion, all right. Thank you very much. Long. Thank you, sir. Let me reclaim my time real quickly. I do have some concerns about the uh, op the opportunity zones. I sent a letter to you. We haven't gotten a response yet. I hope that you will be able to 
respond to uh, to the questions that I've asked uh, in that letter. Are you going to do? Did you get the letter? Uh, I, I assure you that I will check with my group this afternoon. We very much uh, support the Opportunity Zone, so we will be very responsive. All right. I hope that you'll ensure that the program does not accelerate uh, disruptive gentrification uh, in those designated sensor tracks. I, I uh, share Madam your Chair, uh, uh, sir, I yield back. Thank you very much. I share your concerns. Thank you. Thank you. I want to acknowledge. Gentleman from Colorado, uh, Mr. Tipton, is recognized.